In this tutorial, we will show you how to use the import and export features. We will also show you some basic Excel editing options and tips so you can get started right away. This is an extremely useful feature that allows you to add information for better catalog management. In addition, when we import your catalog from Amazon Seller Central or from your eBay account, the catalog is missing some mandatory information in order to start repricing. You will need to add minimum prices so we know what is the lowest price you are willing to accept. Bulk CSV upload is the easiest way to do so. Let's get started. How to export. The first thing you will like to do is export your entire catalog into a file that can be edited in Excel. Go to Actions, select Apply on all items, then click Export as File. A CSV file of your entire catalog will be downloaded. This file can be edited in Excel. Open the downloaded file in Excel. This file contains all of your catalog information that is in WisePricer. This file already contains a valid minimum price, since your initial export after we import from Amazon or eBay will not contain minimum price. I'm going to delete the information in that column for the sake of this tutorial. Now this is important. Excel has a known issue with long numbers. It will concert every number that is longer than 12 digits to a scientific formula. Once the file is saved with the converted number, the original UPCs cannot be restored. In our case, the long number is our UPCs. When you handle any catalog file in Excel, it's important to select the UPC field and make sure that the column is formatted as a number with no decimals. Make sure you repeat this process every time you make any changes to this file or any other file with UPCs. Otherwise, those numbers will be lost for good on that file. Now it is safe to work on this file. We're going to start by setting up the minimum price. As an example for this tutorial, we will set the minimum price to be 15% above cost. Note we are using Excel as an example of an easy way to edit files. These are tips. If you have your own data, feel free to use it. Then I will apply the same formula to all cells in column J, minimum price. Make sure to have only two decimal places. Important tip, anytime you use Excel formulas, you need to convert them back to values. Otherwise, they will be saved as the formula. The way to do this is to select the entire column. Right-click, copy, then go back to the first cell on the column. Right-click, select Paste Special. In the radio button menu, select Values. Click OK. This will convert the entire column to the actual numbers we generated. Now we are all done with this file. Click Save when you are ready to import it back to WisePricer. Now that you have a saved file with all the data you need, you are ready to import it back to WisePricer. Click on Actions. Select Import From File. This will take you to the Import screen. Click on the Browse button. Select the file you saved on your computer. Then click Upload. This will take you to the Mapping screen. Note, when using an export file, all fields will be mapped automatically. However, if you change the headers of the columns, make sure to map them in the proper fields in WisePricer. Click Continue. You will see a screen with an overview on how many products were detected and are going to be uploaded. That's it. You're all done. The upload process is being done in the background. You will receive a notification email once the upload is completed. Thanks for watching.